Alright guys, I've got a nice double header for you today. I've got two battles ready to go. Um, it's been a while since I've been online. I've actually been deployed out for a little while. Um, field exercise stuff. Eh, basic army crap, but uh, let's just get started. You guys don't want to hear about that. I started with my cleft key. They started with an electivire right away. This is not a good matchup for me, but I'm still going to take the chance because I had just created this thing and I wanted to actually test it out in battle. Prankster Iron uh, Defense does protect me from that earthquake, but basically all it did was save me from a one-hit knockout. Obviously, Clef Key is not capable of taking on an Electivire, so I'm going to actually pull it out. I don't know why, honestly, since saving Clef Key was not pretty beneficial to my team at all. I go into my Scizor, though, anyway, and he's going to hit me with another Earthquake. Earthquake does a huge chunk to Scizor as well. It is not looking good for me right now. I have two Pokemon that are already down to about a fourth of life. Uh, excuse me, a third of life. And he's got three healthy Pokemon. He ends up switching out into Infernape now. Probably predicting the Bullet Punch. I'm just going to U-turn because I knew that he was going to switch out. And I just wanted to scout out and see what he had. Obviously, this came out, which is not good at all, considering I have two Steel types. And one is not very effective to it at all. So the only Pokemon I have is Salamence that can actually take this thing on. So I believe I Mega Evolve and go for the Hyper Voice. Yeah, that's what I do. He ends up switching into his Trevent. I don't know what he was predicting, honestly, to go into that thing, unless he was just using it for death fodder, but still not the smartest idea. Hyper Voice is going to completely annihilate that thing. I don't know how much of a threat that Trevent was to my team, considering that my team was mostly Steel. The only thing I really worried about was Will-O-Wisp, but Salamence managed to take care of that. So he goes to Electivire, obviously he's going to go for the Ice Punch. I can see that coming from a mile away, so I'm going to get my Ments out of there. I do not want to lose Ments just yet, so I'm going to go into my Clef Key. Clef Key will be able to take the Ice Punch pretty nicely, but unfortunately for me, he gets the Freeze. Freeze is one of the most bent over backward hacks that I can actually think of. Freeze just pretty much greases your behind up and shoves a big one right in it. My voice just cracked in the middle of this thing, but gotta continue. So I believe this turn he's going to switch out. Yes, he does. He's going to go back into that Infernape. The Infernape is pretty deadly to my team right now. I end up thawing out though and I go for a Draining Kiss, but as you can see that does nothing at all. This thing actually needs to rely on Calm Mind to actually properly function. This thing is made as a mixed wall, basically. Calm Mind, Iron Defense, Drain and Kiss, and I believe Metal Shot just for the stab. Hits me with a Fire Punch. Obviously, Clef Key is not going to take that. And he goes down. So all that's left now is my Ments. Ments could pretty much clean the rest of this team up. Oh wait, no, I still have Scizor. But uh, I'm going to fire off the Hyper Voice. He's going to go for the Mach Punch. I do not know why he did that. Honestly, he could have saved that Infernape. Unless uh, my Mence could take out his Electivire easily. In which case, yeah, he's pretty much screwed. But uh, Hyper Voice takes out his Infernape. Out comes the Electivire. Obviously, he's going to use the Ice Punch. I hit it with a Draco Meteor, and he's actually going to survive that, so if he had... Well, actually... Nah, I'm not sure. But, uh, anyway, survives Draco Meteor, hits me with Ice Punch, Salamence goes down. I was thinking that if he managed to take Hyper Voice well enough, and then a Draco Meteor well enough, he could have probably knocked out my Sizzler and taken the battle. But anyway, that didn't happen, as you can see. Scizor is, of course, going to go for the Bullet Punch for the Revenge Kill and the game. Unfortunately, my opponent does not like to lose and ends up disconnecting on me right after his Electivire goes down. So, that's it for this battle. Let's move on to the next one.
I don't remember this one too well, but I'm going to do the best I can. This one I just slapped in here, just because I didn't have anything else. Alright, so he's going to start with a Jolteon, I'm going to start with a Hitmonlee. I believe he goes for a Thunderbolt. This Hitmonlee has Limber, just in case it uh, wants to use like Thunder Wave or something. Alright, so he hits me with Thunderbolt, I survive just barely, and I hit it with an Earthquake. Earthquake actually takes that thing out. I believe this is my Choice Bandit Hitmonlee. Yes, that is. But uh, Jolteon is down, goes out into Charizard. Do not want to stand on this Charizard, I believe, and obviously since Choice Band is locked into Earthquake, I'm not going to keep him only in there. He's actually... He actually might have some use later. So I go into Dragonite, and he ends up hitting me with a Dragon Pulse. I remember that part. He Mega Evolves into Mega Charizard, fires a Dragon Pulse at me. I was actually thinking a Fire Blast or something was going to come, but he ends up probably predicting my switch, I want to say. Hits me with Dragon Pulse, does a fourth damage, thanks to multi-scale. It uh, reduces it. Uh, I believe here I switch out. And I go into my Tyranitar. Yeah, I switch out Dragonite and I go into my Tyranitar, activating the Sandstream. Which will shut down his drought and give me a decent advantage with Sandstorm. Fires another Dragon Pulse off. Guess probably thinking I'd stay in and Dragon Dance, but that's a pretty stupid idea considering Charizard's firing off uh, high special attacks, uh, Dragon Pulses. So, ends up going into Rotom now. I'm going to Mega Evolve into Mega Tyranitar and set up the Dragon Dance so that I can Stone Edge the hell out of this thing because if that thing manages to survive an attack, I can't take a Will O Wisp. I cannot take a Will O Wisp at all. So, Dragon Dance is up, I'm gonna gamble on the stab, Stone Edge, hits the Rotom, and it survives with an eighth of life, allowing it to Will O Wisp my Tyranitar and burn me, cutting my attack. So, it did not look good for me after that burn. So, I have to shut this Rotom down now, because if it stays in and it keeps having its way, it's going to destroy me. So, Stone Edge manages to hit a second time and takes the Rotom out which kind of saved me a headache. Now, all that's left is that Charizard, but that thing could go on a killing spree depending on how much my Stone Edge will do to it. Because of its time for effectiveness, it still has a good chance to hit that Charizard for a one-hit knockout, or at least enough damage for me to get off an attack to knock it out for good. Uh, Dragonite's extreme speed. But uh, I didn't need that because Stone Age manages to hit, and plus the times for effectiveness, it manages to knock them out. So I hope you enjoyed these two battles, and I'll see you next time for my next Wi-Fi battles.